Greetings. My name is Dr. James Danoffberg. I am the Director of Conservation Engagement and Learning here at the beautiful Living Desert Zoo and Gardens in Palm Desert, California. I'm here to talk to you today about the vaquita, the threats that it's, fa that it's facing, and the things that we are doing and that you can do to help. The vaquita is the most endangered marine mammal in the world. There are fewer than 30 probably more like fewer than 10 that still exist in the world. They are all found in the upper Gulf of California. And the reason why they are so endangered is because of nets, because of gill nets, as you can see in the background of that postcard. Gill nets are used to catch fish indiscriminately. And the vaquita, when it hits a gill net, it will turn and roll, so it becomes more trapped in the gill net. They are not the intention of the, of the fishers who are trying to fish legally for food, for their sustenance, and for sale. But the inadvertent contribution of that to the, to the vaquita is that they are killing the vaquita. So it's not intentional, it's accidental, but it's happening. Much of that food that, for which they are fishing that the, that the vaquita gets caught in has been shrimp. And people in the United States, like here in California, in Southern California in particular, were the destination for much of the shrimp that was caught in the upper Gulf of California. So the initial declines of the vaquita from the 600 levels that they were in the 1990s to the fewer than 10 that they are now is likely due to the influence of shrimp nets, shrimp gill nets. Gill nets are continuing to be used in the upper Gulf of California. It's a real problem. So, we are doing things to help address this problem. We at the Living Desert and we as part of and the leaders of the Vaquita Safe Program on the part of the Association for Zoos and Aquariums. We are working with fishers in the upper Gulf of California to work with them to come up with alternative strategies to be able to both collect and gather fish responsibly and sustainably so that they do not affect the, the vaquita and to try to connect them with markets that will pay them a premium for that increased effort on their part. So we are in the process right now of starting a series of workshops with these fishers to make certain that everyone is familiar and, and understandable of the, the fishing regulations, the options that are available to them, and the things that they can do going forward. So we here at the Living Desert, as well as our partners across AZA Vaquita Safe, are doing many great things to try to address the main threats of why the vaquita is declining. However, there's a role that you can play in this process too, and many roles. One, when you are out dining, when you're buying fish for consumption at home, make certain that it is sustainably caught. If you go to the Monterey Bay Seafood Watch app or to seafoodwatch.org online and find their guide, only buy sustainably sourced fish. In that way, you can make certain that the vaquita is not affected by these gill nets, as well as a whole host of other marine mammals like the vaquita and many other species, turtles, whales, sharks, lots of things. So that's the first thing. Buy sustainably caught fish when you're out dining and when you're at home. Third, sign petitions in support of this process. Support these fishers. They need a sustainable way of life. Fourth, so many things you can do. Go to vivavaquita.org. They are the organizer for International Save the Vaquita Day, which is this week is International Save the Vaquita Week. This Saturday the 18th is International Save the Vaquita Day.